So I thought I would do a makeup tutorial because I cosplay a lot and um, I don't know, I'm tired. <laughs> I got up at 7am for a cosplay shoot today. <laughs> this is from Max Caulfield from Life is Strange. I'll find some time to do Chloe and Rachel some other time. By the way, this video was inspired by Cacophony and Discord. Um, Danny did a Max tutorial for makeup before, and she's the one I learned all my makeup tips from, <laughs> basically. And if you like Life is Strange, go check out Cacophony and Discord, because Danny and Hunter are my two favorite Pricefield cosplayers. But yeah, I just start out by putting on my wig cap, because I don't want my hair in my face. <laughs> And I'm, I'm probably going to be looking over here because I'm looking at the screen. I'm using it as a mirror. If you have short hair like me, it's easy to get your hair like really flat back here. But if you have long hair, you're probably going to want to like braid it up or whatever. Uh, I don't have tips for if you have long hair because I've not cosplayed since I had long hair. Um... I think I did once, and I, I still, like, shoved it all up in here like this. Anyway, I'm going to put on chapstick so that can sink in before I put on my lipstick because it's winter and I have chapped lips. <laughs> it has two flavors. <laughs> Not that I ever taste it. I don't know. Anyway, first I'll start off with the foundation, and I'm just using CoverGirl. <laughs> I was just like, is the camera over here? No, it's over here. CoverGirl! And you probably want to get in cosplay like this, with shirt and pants and stuff, before you do this, because if you don't seal your makeup, then you risk getting makeup on your shirt. By the way, please seal your makeup. Like, if you're doing body paint and heavy makeup, I do just normal, everyday type makeup, so I usually don't seal. Keep tissues or toilet paper, in my case, on hand to wipe off your extra so it doesn't get on your cosplay. Yeah. Let's see if I can bring the light over. Oh, that's even worse light. <laughs> My phone alarm's going off. <laughs> oh well, my phone alarm will just have to continue to go off. Okay. And after I do each layer, I like to wipe off my hands. Because uh, the foundation I use is really liquidy. And it gets everywhere. And then I take my concealer. I'm using NYX. And any place that's just like really red or I have pimples or like dark circles, I'm going to just put a little bit. Usually it's like around the nose, under the eyes, stuff like that. I think that's it. Okay. For Max specifically, I don't cover my circles because Max's whole thing is like I haven't slept in a week. And it just accentuates it because I literally haven't slept in a week. <laughs> not not literally, but you know, I, I have insomnia, so I have dark circles. So a little bit more there. And uh, my concealer tends to be a little bit darker than my own skin tone because I'm pale as a ghost. So I just put a little bit more foundation. There we go. And now, before I seal that with a matte thing, uh, I like to clean off my hands before that seals the makeup onto my hands. <laughs> 
So I just use hand sanitizer. Just a little bit. Just to clean off whatever foundation that's on my fingers. Or else the um, matte cover will seal it onto my hands. <laughs> this is why I don't use Final Seal. I just use this Fit Me in uh, Translucent. That makes it look like it's not shiny on your face anymore. I recommend holding your breath while you do it around your nose. <laughs> Okay, then I'm using eye primer, um, it's a base for your eyeshadows, it's by Jordana, there you go, the little J is out, so I was looking for the name. This makes it so your eyes don't crease and wrinkle during the day, so that's especially important for a con. But like me, if you're doing a, a cosplay video, probably also want to wear it because uh, it's probably going to be a long shoot day. <laughs> I don't expect this to be done till like dinner, so yeah. I'm thinking about getting a liquid eye primer though because the cream is kind of hard to rub into my skin. Yeah. You know, while that's drying, I put on a uh, brow powder. So your eyebrows, um, some people have thicker ones like me and some people don't <laughs> and just anyway whatever cosplay you're doing you have to do your brows especially if you're getting photos because it makes all the difference because like with this you can make your specific shape if they have like arched eyebrows or whatever different colored hair you put on that color with eyeshadow i'm using jordana's brow powder duo um number what number is it number two medium so that works for blonde or brown hair. So I use the top one if I'm wearing a blonde wig and bottom one if I'm wearing brown. I'm Max, so I'm using brown. You just kind of brush it on over top your eyebrow. There we go. See how much better that looks? <laughs> it goes where you want it to go. Kind of cloudy today. Maybe I should have opened my window. Or I guess I just talk to myself. Uh, that that's about even. Yeah, you you kind of want to get these even. Then you want to seal that in so your powder doesn't come off. So I just use clear mascara. <laughs> it just makes your eyebrows go in the direction you want, stay in the direction you want, and seals in all that powder. Okay. It feels a little weird at first though because it's really wet, but <laughs> yeah. Okay, next I do eyeshadow and I just use a small contour brush. <laughs> Watch me look like a makeup guru here. <laughs> nah, I'm not. The only time I learned makeup was for cosplay. I literally didn't wear makeup before this year. <laughs> My entire life, I did not wear makeup until this year. <laughs> okay. I like to put a little base of like a white up here. So I'm using the ELF at, I think this was on clearance, so I don't think you can get it anymore. Yeah, the little thing fell out. And again, to catch a toilet paper or whatever, you can clean your brush off on it. <laughs> it was like, 
this between colors. So <laughs> I use the same brush. Okay. Now Max has like this dark, I mean, I haven't slept in a week look. So you, you want to use like browns and a burgundy for it. So I'm just going to start off with, um, this is by Maybelline, the Pink Edge City Kits. Um, this one. And I'm going to use this dark brown down here. And just go over my lid. I also like to blend it out with my finger, makes it softer. And just go a little bit, like about halfway from the corner down under your eye. Got powder in my eye. Put it on the side. One eye is always going to be harder to do, by the way. Especially if you're in low light like this. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to using the ELF one. I'm using this darker brown here and I'm just gonna do like the corners here here and a little bit in the bottom so just like top and bottom every corner just go a quarter of the way and blend it out with your finger maybe like a third blend it out on the bottom go even less than that because on the bottom, we're going to put the burgundy. If you get it like out here, just wipe it off with your finger. <laughs> All the makeup tutorials on YouTube are screaming at me right now, probably. <laughs> You're gonna go back to that first brown and then just blend out the middle of the top lid. Alright, that should be it for that. Now you're gonna go in with burgundy on the bottom. Back to the Maybelline one. I'm using this burgundy color here. It doesn't look burgundy on like here, but trust me, it is. <laughs> I'm just in really bad light conditions right now. Just gonna go all the way on the bottom with it. Blame my eye. Mm. Okay. Be careful when you're doing this. And if you're just starting makeup, you're gonna poke your eye a lot. <laughs> and now you've got your dark circle raccoon eyes. <laughs> and someone may think that you've been hit in the face. <laughs> but it closely matches what Max has. Wait, I need that one. Okay. I keep putting my stuff away as we go. We should be done with the soft brush. Next, we should do um, eyeliner. <clears throat> Here's the hard part. You, um, I use liquid liner. You can use also a pencil liner. Uh, actually, I use both. I use the liquid liner first to line my eye, and then I use the crayon one to blend it out and then I put eyeshadow on top <laughs> so. and I got the brush tip one it's just easier for me 
So, no, no, that's that's a bad look. Uh, I'm not sure I can do that. Let me see if I can do this while looking into the mirror at the same time. So that's what we got so far. See how it's like a harsh edge? That's why I blended out. Okay. And Max doesn't have it all the way on the bottom, so I just do like a third of the way. Okay, I'm probably going to cut out the other eye because I really need to use the mirror. <laughs> anyway, now I've got that on and it's looking like a hot mess. So we blend it out. <laughs> and I use this again. There's a little bit extra there. A lot of bit extra. There, see how it's a little bit more blended? So I take my angled brush, this one, it's a small angled brush, and I take black eyeliner, or black eyeshadow, just plain black, and I dab it on top of uh, all the eyeliner. There we go. See how that looks a lot smoother now? It's not really showing up on camera, but it does. Now we have that. It's time for a mascara. I'm just using whatever. You just need something waterproof. <laughs> Basically. And I put on a layer and then I like jiggle it back and forth. And that helps it look more thick and anime. And I just do lightly on the bottom. For me, less is more because my eyelashes fall out and I don't want that to happen when there's mascara on them.
and then if you get some on your skin, you just take that off. <laughs> You want to clean off your brush you used with the angle brush for the eyeliner real good. Make sure there's no black left in it. Take a clean contour palette. I'm using Ayla for her uh, freckles because I don't have freckles, as you can see. Uh, so I just use the browns from here and uh, I'm probably going to use light brown. I don't know, I'm pretty pale, so light brown probably. And I'm just going to dot on freckles. <laughs> I haven't found a better way to do freckles, so you might want to look that up because this isn't the best way. <laughs> just want to get it on the very tip of it and take that cat hair off. You just want it on the very tip. I mean, it doesn't look very realistic doing this, so... And don't worry about, like, going too hard on it, because we're gonna blend it in in a minute. And then you're going to clean off your brush real good again so you can use it for eyeliner or eyeshadow next time. Why do I keep calling it eyeliner? So what you're going to do is you're going to like pat it in there with your finger. Don't smudge it, just pat it to take off some of it like that. And just take the intensity down a little bit and then you're going to take that fit me translucent powder again and don't don't rub just dab on top and that makes it look like it's part of your skin also takes the intensity down a little bit too there you go and I now have freckles <laughs> so they're not the best you can see a little bit um, line-ish but from a distance they look like freckles so for pictures it's good and for videos it's good because videos are far away <laughs> I probably wouldn't do this method if you're gonna be doing anything up close to someone but for pictures and videos it's fine all right and the last thing we need to do um let's come in I'll be out in a second is lipstick Uh, my friend's here, so. Alright, and dab. Dab! <laughs> oh god, I'm cringe. <laughs> Then you just put on your wig, and you're done. Make sure you don't mess up your makeup. And it's gonna look like a hot mess until you brush it. I got this wig from Arda Wigs. I forgot which one it is, but I know the color is Spanish brown. So... There we 
there we go uh i know it did come curly though and i boil watered straightened it because art of wigs is heat safe okay there we go and now you're max caulfield <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed that and i'm gonna go because my friend's here bye